What if the sun disappeared right now? Would you be able to handle eternal darkness? Cold temperatures? How about flying off into space? The sun is the only star in our solar system, and it gives life to everything here on Earth. Would we even be alive if it vanished? This is what if, and here's what would happen if the sun disappeared. The truth is, we wouldn't even notice for the first eight and a half minutes. This is how long it takes sunlight to travel to our planet. So even if the sun disappeared, its last ray of light would take 510 seconds to reach your skin. And what about gravity? The sun is the dominant gravitational force in our solar system. It has all eight planets moving around it. So if the sun disappeared, would we fly off into space? Yes, but not right away. The force of gravity turns out to have speed too. In his theory of general relativity, Einstein proved that gravity is just as fast as light and not instantaneous as was previously thought. This means the Earth would still be orbiting a recently vanished star with no clue of the upcoming darkness. But just for eight and a half minutes. When the last of the sun's rays reached the Earth, eternal night wouldn't be our only problem. The very same moment the sun disappeared from the sky, Earth would start traveling into space at 18 miles per second. Assuming the Earth didn't collide with any other planets or asteroids or get sucked into a black hole, it would be moving in a straight line for 43,000 years before it found another star to orbit. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. Within two seconds, the moon would go dark, since there would be no sunlight to reflect. But the stars would still shine, and your electricity would still work, unless it's powered by solar panels. However, gravity and illumination aren't the only things we rely on the sun for. Plants need the sun for photosynthesis. Turning light into energy is how plants stay alive. Without sunlight, most small plants would be dead within days. Larger ones, like trees, would survive for several decades due to their slow metabolism. This would knock out the bottom tier of the food chain. Most animals would die off slowly. Only scavengers feeding on the dead would remain until they froze to death because within a week, the average temperature on Earth would drop to a bone-chilling 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And by the end of the first year, minus 150 degrees would be the new norm, and it would keep dropping until stabilizing at minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The oceans would grow colder too, but just on the surface. Thanks to geothermal vents, they would remain liquid underneath, despite being buried under a thick layer of ice. So if you're lucky enough to survive, consider moving to the ocean floor. In the end, the organisms living around those geothermal vents would be the only living beings not to notice any difference. They don't need the sun to live and could continue to thrive for billions of years until the planet became a frozen chunk of rock drifting in space.